Why, hello friends, my name is Rock City for Life, and I'm coming at you guys with a Sony Vegas tutorial. <laughs> no, play, what's going on guys, it's your boy Rock City for Life, I'm um, coming at you guys with my first ever tutorial, it's on how to beat sync, um, a lot of people have been asking me how to do it, so I figured I'll finally make a tutorial on how to, make it as easy as possible. Now, pretty much when it comes to beat syncing, uh, you can beat sync to whatever song you want, it all depends on what you actually want to beat sync on. You just find one beat or one pattern or however you want to look at it. And you put your shots to it. The easiest clips to beat sync to me are sniper shots or shotgun shots. Because most of those shots take one shot to kill somebody. So it makes it a lot easier. Now, it's the easiest way to me is to find where you actually want to beat sync the shot. And use a marker to... You know, just so you can know exactly where your shot is going to be, and it makes it a lot easier. Like, for instance, you already see the little orange markers on the music clip. It's mad it's easy to actually put them in your project or whatever. All you do is you find where you want to use it, and you hit the letter M. It puts in the number one, and of course, the numbers are going to continue to go up. You can label it if you want to, you don't have to. So, I'm going to go in and do that real quick. And there you go. I'm not going to do it for all of it because it's going to take a while. Now, if you have like an HD PVR or something that records good quality clips, then it makes it easier because then your shots, they come out a little crisper. So you already know what you're looking for. Like as you can see for most of my shots, like most of them have like where it starts off a little thick and then it skinnies out. That's because where, that's where the shot is being taken. It makes it mad easy. So all you do is, let me get these bad boys out of the way real quick. Alright, all you do is you take your first clip and drop it right here. So now if you play it real quick. And you notice when it says how, you actually hear the drum shot shot as well. So... All you'll do is you'll just go in and drop it where everything is and of course for whatever excessive clip that you have you'll just cut it off now for me I'm fine because these are some clips that I used from my montage that's on my page right now I didn't feel like I actually going through finding more clips and cutting them again where and I can just use what I had before so well, I'll go ahead and um fix it up real quick I'll probably do five or six clips and then I'll play it and let you guys check it out Alright, bump it. So, I went ahead and dropped the clips on, so now if you play it. And I hate little lines. Alright, run this bad boy one more time. And that's pretty much how you beat sync. So I'm gonna go in and render render this out real quick since it was laggy. You just drop this last clip on this bad boy. I have more, but I don't feel like doing all this BS. I'll be, drop that right there. Do this. Delete this. And that's 
pretty much it. Beat this bad boy. And of course, you know, when you're adding clips on top of clips, um, I would prefer, like, when I do it, I don't add the color correctors to the clips before because adding color correctors to the clip. It slows it down, it makes it laggy, so of course, you add your clips or whatever, then you just add whatever color correctors you want to use. So like for this one, I'm going to use a color corrector. You drop it on the timeline itself, it affects every single clip. Then color curve. And let's see. Some sharpen, of course. And of course, some soft contrast. The sexy stuff. Drop that on. Now, if you guys need help with color correctors, just let me know, and of course I can make a tutorial for that too. I found like a lot of different color correctors, and they all work. And when I render videos, um, I used to do them in MP4, but I found out when you render them in WMV, it also processes the video while it uploads, so it uploads a lot faster. Go ahead and render this bad boy real quick. See how fast this takes. I don't. That thing looks sexy, doesn't it? Alright, still got time. I'm trying to make this tutorial mad quick for you guys. One thing about this that I know though, I hate when you render something out in Sony Vegas and you look at it right here and you're like, yo, this shit is sexy. But then when you upload it, it's half of it. heard people say with montages it's best that you upload them in mp4 a certain way but I ain't, I'm about all that I'm not waiting I always for the shit to fucking upload to YouTube I keep it in that WMB hit open and let's watch this bad boy and of course since I just threw on the last clip I didn't actually clip it clip it but you guys got the hang of it it's mad simple no if you guys need help with anything, just shoot me a message, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Peace. We out.